Hello guys, today I'm going to talk to you about one of the things that people ask me the most, which is how to go from master to guru cooking. First, I would like to give some recommendations that you would benefit from before even starting to cook. One of the recommendations is to reach the one second cooking. I can tell you that canapé clothes from the pearl shop will save you a lot of trouble, but it is still possible to achieve this without using any pearls. The two most expensive things you will need to buy are the silver plus 4 clothes, which will take away 5 seconds from the time, and the sharp alchemy stone of life to take 1.4 seconds. After having these two, all you need is to constantly buy small usable things like the advanced cooking utensil, verdure draw and seafood crown mill. Now I can say that with all of these you will be able to reach the 1 second cooking and be only limited by the server delay. Now let's get to the content. I tell everyone what I've once been told by players more experienced than me. Set a goal of preparing 50,000 Palenos meals and work towards it. The experience that you will receive from preparing all the dishes necessary to Balenos meals and both the Balenos meals will give you more than enough experience to go from master to guru. And now you're supposed to ask, why Balenos meals? So Balenos meals are probably the easiest to prepare in terms of ingredients because there aren't that many bottlenecks and the ones that exist are easily surpassed. So this is something I wrote on my guild discord to try and give an idea of exactly what needs to be done and how. I talked about every single ingredient required to make the pre balenos meal dishes and how to get them. Feel free to pause the video and just take a look at those numbers and the descriptions. Don't take the descriptions too seriously though, because some things are just my own preferences. Let me warn you though, these numbers are supposed to take a few weeks to be achievable. You are not going to do this in a few days, so get used to that idea. So there are a few things that I want to highlight the most and those are the bottlenecks. The first ones are pepper and hot pepper. The marketplace is always out of stock so you will have to set a few farms. I will advise you to get as many farms as you can get and start planting both pepper and hot pepper seeds. These seeds are bottable at the seed vendor in Kalfion. So another bottleneck is cheese. And even though it's bottable, it's easily one of the most expensive you'll have to deal with. The easiest way to go around that price is to dry milk. You can get milk both through alternate characters gathering and pre-ordering constantly from the marketplace. A simple other way to get milk is also from the side dishes. I'm assuming you already have some basic knowledge of workers, but you still might have to take care of your setup since you need them to deliver you vegetables, starch, possibly fish and most importantly eggs. Make sure you have the best quality of human worker on both Bertali farm and Finto farm in Velia. The last ingredient I will talk about is meat. Meat is definitely the one that requires the most effort if you want to save as much money as possible. All the pretty much 200,000 meat should be gathered by you. Every time you are about to reach maximum energy, spend it on gathering the animal you prefer the most like wolves, foxes or anything of the same type. I would advise you to invest in your life skill mastery to make sure you both get the biggest amount of meat possible from a gathering session while making the most money from all the other loot. So now that I've talked about the 1 second cooking time and the setup you need to get all the ingredients, let's talk about the cooking itself. What I do is after gathering all the ingredients required, I do not leave my house until everything is cooked. To maximize the experience, I'll talk to you about the experience buffs that you can get. The silver clothes are a must have for the time and the experience. The same goes for the seafood crown mill and verdure draw. Like I said before, canapé clothes are not a must, but still come in handy with more experience buff. If you have a birthday cake, this would also be the time to use it, since you are probably actually spending 24 hours cooking. The following I advise to use only when all the preparing dishes are done, like the meat croquette and cheese grating, and you actually start to cook the balenos meals, due to their bigger price. The life XP scroll that can be bought with loyalties will give you 50% more experience for an hour. If you have any perfumes of swiftness around, this is also the time to use it. Well, and in the end, all of this is happening for you to be able to deliver the Guru Imperial boxes, which profit you the most. Personally, I am able to deliver 177 boxes daily and since I'm selling them for 1 million each, it's my most stable income, with 177 million daily received just by delivering these boxes. Final cost? Billions. 
Don't even think about it, because as soon as you hit Guru and start delivering the boxes every day, you'll have entire weeks of delivery and you'll more than double the money spent by the end of it. Just make sure you work towards these resources every day and don't give up. BDO is not a sprint, it's a marathon. Special thanks to everyone who takes their time to discuss life skilling with me and to Yopos for providing me his gathering session information. If you guys have any questions, ask them in the comments below. I have been thinking of making more straightforward guides like this, so if you actually would like to see more of these, make sure to subscribe and hit the like button. Thanks for listening and best of luck.